Uh, hey everybody, it doesn't matter why I had to climb up off the ground for this one. That's my business. Brian Vosco here, Pit Face Barbecue. And for this 12 part series, more specifically, it is the Pit Face Barbecue Whiskey Crew. You have made it to night six of Will It Christmas. Now, if you're not familiar with what Will It Christmas is, check the description below. There's a link to the introduction video. You can see the other five videos on there. Um, but basically what we do is we take the most unintentionally Christmas tasting whiskey in the world, the knot, and we put it in some of these uh, fun things behind me here and see if we can't infuse a little bit of holiday cheer into these other whiskeys and spirits. Now tonight, I'm coming to you with what is an absolute abomination of a whiskey. This is Widow Jane whiskey distilled from a rye mash American oak, oak aged. That is a long way of saying disappointing. Um, I think it comes in a 375 milliliter bottle because they can't afford the liability of exposing people to too much of this stuff at once. Uh, this is the bottled equivalent of getting a loaf of bread that is all butt ends. I mean, it's like a lot of grain, but it's like the bad grain, the, the reject grain. Um, not a huge fan, but let's get back positive. We're here for a redemption story. Think about all those Christmas movies where uh, things look grim for the main character at the beginning, and then by the time we get to the end, everyone's happy, full of cheer. Christmas gets pulled off without a hitch. Got a nice happy ending. Maybe we can do that tonight. And we do that by answering the question of, will it Christmas? And the key to that, obviously the knot. Now you've seen the last couple of videos, so you know how much of the knot we put in. We're gonna take this and add, what is it? Just a boop. Boop. We got a boop of the knot in there. Give it a chance to mix up a little bit and we'll find out if we have a redemption story on our hands. Now, I don't have high expectations here, but let's, come on, let's get some Christmas out of here. Oh, jeez. No, this is, uh, ugh. Who is it? Uh, is it Belschnickel that does the Impish and Admirable? Um, this, it smells... Uh, not, not from experience or anything, but it probably even tastes like Belschnickel's feet. It, uh, it's, it's, this isn't what you're going for here. I'll tell you a story. Here's, this is as Christmassy as this is. So, I'm driving home one December evening or afternoon whatever and pull up to the driveway get this little flicker of light from our yard something shining sparkling park the truck get out walk over to the yard and i look to see what it is and come to find out um some dog probably the neighbor's dog had obviously eaten some tinsel and uh the evidence was yeah right there in the yard um that's the level of christmas we get here i mean it probably smells like that too yeah i just I mean, you kind of you kind of hope that if you just you know you could you could take that dog turd and wrap it in a in Christmas wrapping paper and put it under the tree, and uh, but I mean that doesn't make it Christmas just because it's in wrapping paper. That's what we did. I could get a little bit of the knot, get a little bit of the peppermint, but then it's just this. Ugh. You know. Um, in those Christmas movies, the redemption story takes a little bit of time to pay off. Uh, this is like falling asleep halfway through the movie, and you're pretty sure that life just ended up miserable for the main character because he didn't see the ending. Uh, this stayed miserable all the way through. Misery to start, misery to end. Let's give it a score. Um, you know, this is going to sound weird that I'm going to give it a score from what may be a beloved Christmas um, icon, but we're going to go with one of the reindeer Blitzen. Now, if I remember the story or the song correctly, Blitzen was one of the end ones, which would put him at the back of the pack. I have to imagine the sights and smells for Blitzen on Christmas night had to have been absolutely awful. So this gets a rating of Blitzen just based on those sights and smells alone. And uh, I mean, you know the answer. Widow Jane and all that stuff below it, it will not Christmas. Whatever, it's still alcohol, so I'm going to drink it. Cheers all. Have a good night. We'll see you tomorrow for the next episode. Hopefully we can find something that Christmas is. 
a little more. Cheers all. I think Belschnickel's feet would be in too kind.